This is the story of Mr. J. Thaddeus Toad, who lived in a large castle known as Toad Hall in a little town in England. A toad was an unusual creature, for he never seemed to have enough excitement. He was always off on some new adventure, and his latest interest was a horse named Cyril, whom he drove across the countryside in a bright yellow cart. Tally-ho! Tally-ho! Tally-ho, Cyril! Tally-ho! Where are we going, Governor? Are we on our way to Nottingham, to Brittingham, to Buckingham, or any hammy hamlet by the sea? No! Oh. Are we on our way to Devonshire, to Lancashire, to Worcestershire? I'm not so sure, we'll have to wait and see. Oh! oh are we on our way to Dover, or going merrily over the jolly old road that leads to Plymouth home? Oh, no! no. We're, We're merrily, 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 merrily on our way to nowhere in particular. We're merrily, 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 merrily on our way, though the roads are perpendicular. We're always in a hurry. We have no time to stall. We've, We've got, got to be, be there. there. We've, We've got, got to be, be there. there. But where, we can't recall. Whoop! <laughs> We're merrily, 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 merrily on our way to nowhere at all. Well, that was Toad. Wild, reckless, and incorrigible. And while he drove off over the countryside, back at his home, there was no one to take care of Toad Hall. And things were getting to be in a terrible shape. Fortunately, however, a Toad had three good friends who wanted to help him and were trying to get his house in order. One was Angus MacBadger, who carefully went over Toad's books and accounts. Oh, why did I ever assume the responsibility of looking after such a reckless adventurer? Bills, bills, bills. How can I ever lay hands on the money to pay him? The other two friends were Mr. Rat and Mr. Mole, who were better known as Ratty and Moley. I say, something has got to be done about Toad. But Ratty, don't you think if we talk to him that we could get him to stop this silly business? But talking did little good, and his three friends got together for tea one afternoon to discuss it. Uh, I'm practically a nervous wreck. So much got to be done about Todd. This time he's gone too far. But he promised us. Promises, huh? What good are his promises when these wild ideas take him? <laughs> I'm afraid Mac Badger's right, Mole. We can no longer depend on Toad's promises. It's time we took matters into our own hands. And so Mac Badger, Ratty, and Mole started out to bring the reckless Toad back to Toad Hall. Unfortunately, however, they were a little late for that very afternoon while Toad and his horse Cyril were resting by the roadside. A big, bright red motor car came chugging by, driven by a bunch of weasels. A toad had never seen a motor car before, and... Hey, Luke! Gad! What is it? Lummy, Governor, it's a motor car! A motor car? A motor car? Gad! What have I been missing? Well... <laughs> As Toad saw that, a new idea came into his head, and he started off after that motor car, bouncing and chugging down the road as if he were a car himself. Ho, 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 ho! Toady was transfixed with rapture. You could tell it was love at first sight as he pulled up behind the car and watched. The motor car stopped at a tavern, which wasn't so very far, and he watched while the tough-looking weasels got out of the lovely red car. Now, weasels, you know, are deceitful and not to be trusted at all. But how could Toady know they'd stolen that car? He didn't have a crystal ball. But Toady wasn't one to dally. He made up his mind like a flash. Get in the back seat, he said to Cyril. Well, I see what they'll take for it. Cash. Into the tavern went Toady, where the keeper was back at the bar, and he said, Cheerio, tavern keeper. 
Who's the owner of that hot-looking car? The keeper, a codger named Winky, leaned over the bar and said, Why? Dirty answered, That car must be mine. Whatever the price is, I'll buy. But Toad found that he had no money, so he promptly offered a trade. The weasels appeared to be willing. In a moment, the bargain was made. Uh, then Toady drew up a paper with almost incredible speed, and he called on old Winky the Keeper to pop over and witness the deed. Now, Toady was not a bit stingy. He never did anything small. The weasels gave him the red motor car, and he gave the weasels Toad Hall. Traded Toad Hall. A castle worth hundreds of thousands of dollars for a red motor car? Hard to believe, isn't it? And when it turned out that it was a stolen car and Toad told the police he had traded Toad Hall for it, well, they wouldn't believe him. So the police took Toad to jail for car stealing. Well, it turned out that the weasels were thieves and Winky the tavern keeper was their leader. But there was no way for Toad to prove that he hadn't stolen the car. So he was locked up in a cell. But, as you know, Toad was a clever rascal, and before long... Toad escaped! Off he ran, with the police in full chase. They even had bloodhounds on his trail. But Toad was smart. He ran to the railway station, hopped onto an engine... Before the engineer could stop him, Toad was streaking down the tracks at full speed, leaving the police behind, shooting at him with the revolvers. Well, Toad got away without being hit. And of course, he went right to the only real friends he had. Ratty, Molly, and MacBadger. You can imagine their surprise when he got to their house. Toad, good heavens. Why, it's Toad. Did you get out on good behavior? What's happened? What are you doing here? I've escaped. You must help me. Winky and the Weasels have a paper that will prove I'm innocent. The deed I signed, giving them Toad Hall. Well, Ratty, Molly and Matt Badger weren't ones to let down an old friend. So off they went to Toad Hall to see if Winky and the Weasels might be there. Sure enough, they were, and since it was late at night, they were all asleep. So into the castle crept the four old friends. Quiet now. Didn't wake anyone up, or we'll be in terrible trouble. They all have knives. There's Winky sleeping on that couch, and he has the deed there in his pocket. Get it, Toadie, that's the boy. I've got it. I've got the paper. Now, let's get out of here. Molly, look out! Dinner trip over that stool! Oh, I'm... What's that? Who's there? Now you've done it, you've woken them up. Run! Run for it! Get them! Get them, you blokes! They've got the deed! Toad, Molly, Ratty and Mac Badger ran as fast as they could. The weasels and Winky running after them. Knives were flying through the air, and it looked for a while as if they might get caught. But they managed to run through the door of Toad Hall in time to shut it right in the face of the weasels. And the weasels ran smack into it. Knocking themselves unconscious. Winky, too. Well, with the paper as proof, it wasn't hard for Toad to convince the police that he was innocent. So Winky and the weasels were rounded up and put in jail and Toad moved back into Toad Hall. He had quieted down a little after his experience, for he realized that he had certain responsibilities that could not be left to others. Ratty and Moley and Mac Badger came to see him often, in fact, almost every afternoon for tea. Two loves, Toad? If you please. It's nice to have you back in Toad Hall. And see that you stay put, Todd. Oh, you needn't worry, lads. It's Toad Hall for me. Uh, could I have another pot of tea, if you please? <laughs> well, that.
that's the story of Mr. Toad, Mr. J. Thaddeus Toad of Toad Hall. He learned quite a bit from his experience. It's something that we can all think about and learn something from, too. Yeah.